Hey, what's up guys? Today, SMC Joa is being exposed for an account management scam he recently pulled off. We have a lot of evidence to work through, so let's get straight into it. For those of you guys who trusted him and held him in high regard, you might have the question, how did we end up here? Well, so in May this year 2024, I came across an Instagram post of Jody Ray Low SMC Joa. He advertised and funded an account management and only a few spots opened. I then responded on the post and asked him how this works. Does he trade on behalf of others? And he then agreed and said, yes, ma'am, he does. Your minimum investment is 18,000 Rand. I then mentioned it to my colleagues and told him that there are a few possible investors. He requested that I arrange a meeting. I cannot remember the date, but he then met up with a few of us at the offices. He explained explained his whole business model and what he does. He sold his business model for 20,000 Rand at maximum. He said to us that 10,000 Rand will go to the purchasing of funded accounts and 10,000 Rand will go to purchasing copy trade and admin fee. He sold this business model so well, even his contract is named JRL Account Management. We have a recording of the meeting. We then signed up with Jody in May. He sent us all the contracts to read through and sign. Please note, we have all signed up on different days. He still said to us, look, he only takes 10 investors at a time, but he will open up more spots. He still said his current investors are making this much, etc. In June, when then other investors signed up, I got a message saying he opened up other accounts for myself and two other people because his stuff got hacked. He also changed his contact number. Still have messages of all of this. Went along, he then created a group with all his investors, still have the group on my end. He was taking trades, he told us when he showed us what he made. He also told us it will take him from one to two months to pause both phases. Then it came when he passed phase one. He sent us a message in the group saying he's going to take it slow and easy with phase two. July the 19th, we received an email from Vault stating that there has been a breach. We then made contact with Jody and he called us via a Zoom call. He said that he will be going to Vault Markets to speak to the CEO. Upon saying this, he said he spoke to Chris, which told him it was okay to do what he was doing and Chris told him he was the CEO but when Jody got there he said to find out Chris or Keenan is not the CEO and that the CEO is in PE. He told us he doesn't know what to do, his hands are tied, we're not going to get the refund from Vault but he was not in the wrong and did everything by book and that those terms and conditions were not there, they put it there after love out loud. I then made contact with Chris myself, explained to him he willing helped and assisted us. An investigation was opened, we sent through all proof of what took place, payment made etc. Chris then made contact with Jody, asking him to refund us and he should comply. Uh, Jody, what I suggest is whatever the clients paid you, whatever they paid you, that admin fee for the challenges, whatever they paid you, you need to pay them back. So as simple as that, if the client paid you 8,000 Rand for, for the challenge and they paid 10,000 Rand for your administration fee or whatever, refund the client in, in total. Jody then made contact with us. We have the recording, says he will comply to what Chris said, he will refund us all the money owed. He sent us contracts, we all signed. Then last month, Vault Funder refunded Jody directly and Jody was to refund us. To our knowledge, we were to get between 8,000 and 10,000 Rand and Jody was to pay back the 10,000 Rand admin fee. Vault refunded Jody 23,000 Rand. We received 1,800 Rand each. We questioned it and he said he will pay us the balances due to us. So if we pay 20,000 Rand, he will deduct the 1,800 and pay the difference. We all agreed he sent new contracts and we signed. Yesterday was the 30th of September. All our funds with you to be paid. Jody then sent me a certificate with a whole long message saying I threatened him. I didn't. I am harassing him. I didn't. I just wanted my money. His certificate states he did nothing wrong. The certificate is signed by Chris and it proves he did everything right and we have it all in our name but we would if he traded on all our behalf and opened up accounts in our name. So all we really want is our money. We paid for a service, a service that was not delivered. We don't know why we received certificates if the accounts were breached and he wasn't supposed to be doing what he did. So please all we want is our money and we do not know who is now accountable as Vault says the accounts were breached and then there's a certificate in everyone's name saying we did everything right. Please assist in this. It's been so emotionally draining for all of us. It's a lot of money that we cannot just throw away. So there you guys can hear 
quite a dramatic experience. There's a few things in it that this client is explaining and I have the evidence for that. So I'm going to start right at the beginning. So after payments was made and the accounts was traded on the 16th of July, the clients then got their success certificate. So at this point, everything seemed legit and it seemed like everything is going well. On the 19th of July though, this is when the trouble actually starts because then Vault Finder sent out an email to their clients and this client is basically stating that their account is going to be closed due to forbidden trading practices and you must understand they don't know what this means because they never traded their account. Jody traded their account and the clause that Vault Finder cited was clause 5.4.1. C. Now to make sure that you understand what that clause is all about, let's go straight to it so that we can get answers. 5.4 Forbidden Trading Practices 5.4.1 During the demo trading, it is prohibited to C. Perform alone or in concert with any other persons, including between connected accounts or accounts held with different vault funder entities, trades or combinations of trades, the purpose of which is to manipulate trading, for example, by simultaneously entering into opposite positions. So as you guys can see there, the discontinuation of service and blockage of account was explained with a clause, a clause that we can go to and read to get further understanding. Now, as the client said in the message, a new contract was then sent, people signed off, and in this contract, Jody said that he will pay them back. So let's get to this contract so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Here's the contract and you can see name Jody Lowe, title CEO, founder and director company, JRL account management. And I'm going to just skip down to number one, the background. The funder account management has not proceeded as planned due to restrictions on copy trading on behalf of other investors. This has resulted in all investors' accounts being breached. Number two, refund commitment. Jody Lowe, in the capacity of CEO, founder and director of JRL Account Management, commits to refunding each investor involved in the funded account management investments. The refund will cover the administration fees paid to maintain the accounts via copy trading software refund amount. The administration fee to be refunded to each investor is 10,000 Rand. The outstanding amount of Vault Funder account refund, if the investor invests 20,000 Rand, JRL account management will refund 18,200. If the investor invested 18,000 Rand, JRL account management will refund 16,200. Refund timeline, all refunds will be paid in full by the 30th of September 2024. Investors are responsible for sending their bank details via email and then it gives a email account and then further there's just investor responsibilities and then contact information but clearly you guys can see here that this bra promised to pay people back on a legally binding contract nonetheless now i'm not sure if my eyes are playing me here but i don't see a clause anywhere that can make the client lose this refund and that is important because we are going to go through that very soon. Now, to be clear, the clients did get some sort of refund, okay? They got 1,800 Rand. So just imagine your refund of a 20,000 Rand is 1,800 Rand. Your refund of an 18,000 Rand is 1,800 Rand. And you just expected to be happy with that. Now, he further goes on to lie and to try and put some blame on Vault's name by actually saying that he paid more for these accounts than just 1,800 Rand. But the proof that was sent to me by the clients actually shows that these accounts was 1,800 Rand. So why is this bra lying? Now, like I told you guys earlier with these newer contract that people signed, there was no clause to kind of nullify the refund that needs to be made to people. But here, he's making excuses again to his clients. You said in your contract that all payments will be made today. That's a legal binding document. His response to that was, it is now and void. You can do what you want. The vault funder certificate says otherwise with your name and surname attached and a date. The client then says, that means nothing to us. We all have signed contracts with you. Why aren't you paying us our money back? And then he then responds by saying, are you accusing me of stealing your money now i don't know why these clients are taking so long to say this but guys one last time let's go over this he charged these clients 
20,000 Rand. 10K was supposed to go for copy trading, which never happened. And 10K was supposed to go to buying funded accounts. Of the 10K that was supposed to go to buying funded accounts, he only spent 1,800 Rand of that. So for the clients that paid 18,000 Rand, right? What happened to the remaining 16,200 Rand of these? To the clients that paid 20,000 Rand, what happened to the remaining 18,200 Rand that was left after paying their funded accounts? Where's that money? You are very bold asking people, are you saying that I took your money? Are you saying that I stole your money? But you can't even account for the copy trading that you charged people 10,000 Rand for. What I'm really glad about now is that these clients are taking this really seriously and some of them have went to go and open cases now he said fully yeah you can do what you want i've spoken to my legal team i will take the legal route my bro let me tell you this the legal route will not favor you in no sense whatsoever number one you're not fca regulated to be trading for these people and number two you gave them a legally binding contract which they then signed where you said you were gonna pay them back in a specific amount of time and you they never did so i think when it comes to you asking are you accusing me of stealing your money soon you're gonna be able to ask a judge that <laughs> all i can say is if this goes legal smc jawa is cooked me bro thoroughly like a well done steak on a hot skillet if you came this far, thanks for joining. Please do stay away from SMC. So as you guys can see, this man is disingenuous from head to toe. Please do smash the like button if you've learned something new. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't seen my content yet. Or if you are new here, please do leave your comments in the comment section because I'm really, really keen to hear what you guys have to say. And then also share this around so that people can know about this new account management scam that is running around. And like I said, it's only gonna get worse from here. I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers. Hey everyone, looking to take your trading game to the next level? Check out the IFX Brokers app, your ultimate tool for trading on the go. With its sleek, user-friendly interface, you can track real-time market trends, execute trades with just a few taps, and manage your portfolio effortlessly. Plus, with advanced trading tools and personalized notifications, you'll never miss out on an opportunity. Download the IFX Brokers app today and start trading smarter wherever you are.